Today, let's talk about this piece of wireless earphones, which looks half like AirPods 3 and half gaming. It is the F69 wireless gaming earphones from SZY Earbuds. Hi everyone, this is Johnny here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I will actually test and review budget and affordable wireless earbuds to help you to decide before you hit the buy button. Without further ado, let's get into today's content. Now, the F69 retails for around 25 US dollar on the F on the SZY Earbuds official website. It comes in two colors, white and black. The one you see me wearing now is actually white in color. Now, if you wish to check it out, I'll put the URL link in the description below. And not only that, the first three buyers who use this discount code SZY by Johnny will receive a further 25% discount. So it's just the first three buyers. Click on it now. Now, I've been testing the F69 for about two weeks now as my daily driver for like music, for videos, for gaming. Before you go out and hit the buy button and use my discount code, here are the top three reasons why you should consider to get these earphones. So let's start with the basic feature. The casing itself, it measures around 58 millimeters by 46 millimeter by 19 to 29 millimeters. The reason is because as you can see from here, the casing is actually tapered, which means to say it's more narrow towards where the lid opens and it is more wider at the end. The weight of the casing case is around 32 grams. The earbuds weigh around 6 grams. There are touch controls on the earphone's head. The earphones can last up to about 6 hours on non-gaming mode and charging case can will provide an additional 26 hours. It uses USB-C, it has Bluetooth 5.2, which gives up to about 15 meters in connection. It has four microphones, two for environment noise cancellation and two microphones for talking. It has a low latency gaming mode and it is IPX5 rated. Now, if you missed the unboxing of this earphones, do click here to check it out before you come back to this full review. So the first thing to actually consider about the F69 wireless earbud is actually the battery life. Now the battery sizes of both the case and the earbuds are 300 milliamps and 35 milliamps respectively. The company claims that the earbuds can last up to about six hours on non-gaming mode and the case can actually provide somewhere between 18 to 26 hours of additional usage. Now on my own testing, the earbuds lasted around 6.5 hours on music at 100% volume. Talk time was about 6 hours. For mobile gaming, the earphones actually lasted around 4.5 hours on gaming mode. For mixed usage, I was able to get around 4 hours and that was around 2 hours on music, 1 hour on talk time and 1 hour of mobile gaming on gaming mode. The charging case was able to provide around four full charges to both earphones at the same time. So if you're going to charge them independently, you can get around seven to eight charges. The LED light strip on the case will flash quickly when it's low battery, which means that you actually need to juice it up via a USB-C port. When you put the earphones back into the case, the LED light on the earbuds will light up to indicate charging. When it's 100%, it will go off. During charging, the LED strip will keep pulsing and it will go off when it's fully charged. It takes around one and a half hours to fully charge the case from zero to 100 via the USB-C cable. Overall, I would say that the battery life performance of the F69 is quite on par with what the company claims and the battery life for gaming is one of the better ones I have. Now, the second major thing to consider about the earphones is actually the day-to-day -day functionality. Initial pairing experience with my Apple iPhone 12 mini was an absolute delight. Once I opened the lid, instantly you will see F69 pop up on the Bluetooth menu. You tap on it and within about two seconds, the pairing is completed. Subsequent Bluetooth reconnection was pretty instant as well with my iPhone 12. Now on a daily basis, it's actually pretty easy to take the earphones out from the case. This is actually thanks to the stems, they're actually exposed. You can actually push the stem outwards and the earphones will come sliding out. For comfort, the moment you put the earphones on, it's actually pretty easy to actually forget them because they're actually so light. On top of that, it doesn't trap heat. So I actually didn't get any ear fatigues when I wear them for about four to five hours straight. 
In terms of controls, the F69 actually come pre-installed with the following touch commands, namely for music and video, it's one tap for play and pause, three taps on the left for next track and three taps on the right for previous track. When it comes to phone call, it's one tap to either answer or hang up and a long press of two seconds to actually reject a call. For all other commands, you can actually double tap on the left for increased volume, double tap on the right to decrease the volume. And it's a four tap to activate or deactivate the gaming mode. While you're on the main screen of your smartphone, you can actually long press of two seconds to activate the voice control. Now, if you want to switch on or switch off the earphones by itself, it's just a long press of five seconds. But do take note that if you're going to power them back on, you will need to power them on individually. I would say that the list of touch commands for the F69 is the most complete or if not one of the most complete among gaming wireless earphones I've actually tested thus far. The touch controls on the earphones are pretty responsive since the touch control are actually located on the earphone head. So when you're making adjustments on your earphones, trying to get the right fit, you don't need to worry about the touch area accidentally recognizing your touches. And for those of you who wish to have more controls, sad to say, that there is actually no smartphone app for the F69 as of now. But of course, hopefully, the company will actually release a smartphone app in the near future. When it comes to like gymming and exercise, workout, jogging, etc., the IPX5 waterproof rating actually comes in pretty handy because this means that the earphones itself, they can resist a little bit of water and sweat. So I will actually recommend the F69 for workouts and exercises. So the third thing to actually consider about the F69 earbuds is actually the sound quality. So the earbuds actually support SVC and AAC, but the company actually didn't give much information about the internal drivers. How does it actually perform in the real world? Well, during my listening, as the F69 are not in here, they actually sit right outside your ear canal so it actually lacked the proper seal and fit which also means that when i'm listening to the music i will also be able to let to hear the sound from my entire surrounding and this actually has a direct impact on the sound enjoyment level especially when i'm outdoors it's perfectly fine if i'm indoors or, or if i'm in a quiet environment but it's pretty difficult if you're in a bus or train or in a noisy environment and most of the time, I'll actually need to up the volume to around 70%. Now when listening to music, vocals are clear. The bass is actually very decent once it gets up to about 60 or 70%. Instruments are pretty clear as well. Though I wouldn't say to actually expect a lot from the sound stage, you know, but it does let you know where the instruments are coming from, which direction. So overall, the music quality of the F69, I would say is pretty decent. When it comes to watching videos like through YouTube and Netflix, uh, I didn't actually experience any audio delay. Now the following clip is a sample of the sound quality when you're watching a YouTube video. What's up everyone? Johnny here, welcome to my channel and in today's video it's a little bit special, I'll be doing something which uh, will be putting a lot of the budget ANC wireless earbud to the real test and that is inside a real aircraft. When I was using the F69 for mobile gaming, I didn't really notice any sound latency especially when uh, especially when it goes with or without the gaming mode. So here is actually a, a sample of the sound latency of the F69 in gaming mode. Last but not least, when it comes to sound quality, we also need to mention about microphone quality. Now, 
For the F69, I would say is that I'm pretty surprised that the microphone quality is pretty good. Uh, the person on the other end was able to hear me pretty clearly even though I was like in the bus or I was actually uh, riding in the MRT. So the next segment is a series of uh, sound clips to demonstrate the microphone quality of the F69 wireless earbuds. This is how your voice will sound like on the iPhone 12 mini. This is how your voice will sound like on the iPhone 12 mini. This is a microphone test on the F69 wireless gaming earbud. I'm currently indoors and I'm doing a audio recording. So do let me know what you think of the microphone quality. Testing, testing one. Two, three. Hi everyone, I'm currently doing uh, a microphone test on the F69 wireless gaming earphones. I'm currently in a cafe right now. So do let me know what you think of the microphone quality. Testing, testing one, two, three. Hi everyone, I'm currently walking around the shopping mall and I am doing a microphone test on the F69 wireless gaming earphones. Do let me know what you think of the microphone quality. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a mic test on the M1 MacBook Air built-in microphone. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a mic test on the M1 MacBook Air built-in microphone. This is a microphone test on the F69 wireless gaming earbuds. I'm currently indoors and using it for Zoom. So do let me know what you think of the microphone quality. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a microphone test on the F69 wireless gaming earbud. I'm currently indoors and I am doing an audio recording via WhatsApp. Do let me know what you think of the microphone quality. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hi everyone, I'm currently in a cafe right now and I am doing a microphone test on the F69 wireless gaming earphones. I'm currently using it to record a WhatsApp audio message. Do let me know what you think of the microphone quality. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hi everyone, I'm currently in a shopping mall and I am doing a microphone test on the F69 wireless gaming earphones. I'm currently using it to record a WhatsApp audio message. Do let me know what you think of the microphone quality. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Alright, so at the end of the day, are they worth it? Should you get the F69 wireless earbud or should you actually consider something else? Well, putting aside the only major drawback is its lack of proper seal and fit for better sound isolation. I personally feel that the F69 is a far cheaper alternative to the Apple AirPods not only for music and video but for gaming as well. The microphone is loud enough and the quality is great for calls and video conferencing. Also, it's actually for people who don't want things sticking into their ear canals. So if you wish to check it out, click on the link below and don't forget the first three buyers who use this discount code will get a further 25% discount. So remember, the first three, first three, one, two, three, yeah. 25%. And there you have it. This is actually my personal review of the F69 wireless gaming earphones from SZY Earbuds. I hope my sharing has helped you. If it did, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, but more importantly, share this content with your friends who are considering to get wireless gaming earphones. That's all the time we have. My name is Johnny and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!